God bless and welcome to today's devotion. Let us start in prayer. Want to help me in prayer? Give me a button. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for some time together to be a family before you and to be gathered in prayer and service to one another, but Lord, to glorify you in all we say and do. Lord, help us to be a blessing to one another, to care for those that you have put into our midst, into our care, into our hands, but Lord, also those who in being cared for will teach us to be better people, to be more loving, and to serve you as we ought to. Lord, help us to look out into the world for the opportunities to bring your word and your love into people's lives. This in Christ we pray. Amen. And today we're going to turn to God's word, to the Bible, as it reads from Matthew chapter 18 at verse 5. Yes. And though, and whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that, he, that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Oh. oh. We have been blessed, all of us, to care for the generations that come after us, to be a blessing to them in the way that we tell the stories about our faith and our journey of faith, and to share with them the word of God, the gospel that is in Christ, and the whole testimony of God's love that is scripture that's been handed down to us. Most of all, in all we say and do, we are meant to receive the little ones. We receive you. We give you hugs. We make you feel special. We tell you stories. We give you attention. We look after your needs. And as we bless you into our fellowship, sometimes we anoint you, all children with oil, or we baptize. We name, and we educate, and we serve. We serve each other. You give me service too? Do you help me out? No, you don't help me out at all. You help me out right now. But you know what? If I was to do something to offend you, to be mean to you, to make you not want to know about God, do you know what God would say is better for me? What? To have a big rock tied around my neck and for me to be just whoop, thrown away. Oh, that would be awful. <laughs> Throw away dead. We don't want that to happen. So we seek to show compassion and understanding. God compels us to be that loving presence in each other's lives. And we need to be reminded of just how important that is. Yeah, every day. In all sorts of ways. And I hope, and we hope, that God will bless you in the way that you care for one another. That you care for the least of these that are given into your midst. And that the little ones teach you how to be a child before God. God bless and keep you.